Hello, everybody! Hello, T! Welcome back to Ever 17. Last time, we had a lovely, quite enjoyable time with Takashi and Sugumi, and they would. Hello, OA! <laughs> they went on a little adventure together, hello, Void Dweller! <laughs> to, the, to the lower ring to fix the generator. Now, Oh god, this is just reminding me how much I adore how Uchikoshi writes romance. God, seriously. Sure, definitely OA, sure. I just... Oh, my god! Hello, Relast! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> god, that was really nice. And like, it's so interesting how like, Sugumi is doing like a kind of usual Sundari shtick, but it's so much more tolerable coming from someone like her. Like just, you know, an older, more mature, quieter, dark haired woman. Like, uh, you don't see that. You really don't see that. They almost always have red or blonde hair, usually look on the younger side and have like pigtails or something like that. <laughs> like, uh, and are a lot more abrasive and uh, forward personality. While Sugumi is mostly quite reserved, except when she's doing what she needs to do. I, I really like it. I really like it. She's quite impressing me. And of course that was adorable when she was, she was like, it almost like it made it seem like she was almost attacking him. Like <laughs> she, when she was almost attacking Tak, she was like, what? Oh no, she's evil. But then all it turned out to be was that she was just wiping the freaking marking off his face, <laughs> which we, we still don't know who did that by the way. <laughs> And uh, she was just so too Sundari to actually ask or to tell him that she was going to do that. <laughs> I still remember it. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Anyway, let's get back into it. We found ourselves back in front of the neutral buoyancy elevator. Sugumi was waiting with her arms crossed. Osoi. You're slow. What do you expect? I'm the one carrying this leaden toolbox. Shiteru. I know. Oh yeah. I forgot it was Sugumi who took the toolbox out of the warehouse. As I recalled that. I turned my eyes to the egg-leg elevator. On the other side of the door, the egg that we came in should have been waiting. <laughs> it was an egg with a hole in it. It was useless to us. Yep. How are they gonna get back up? There's gotta be other ways. To the left, the floor display was lit up with a number three. Did you know there was another egg elevator stopped down here? Oh, did someone else come down? I oh, wouldn't have come if I didn't. I'm not going to be an idiot and just trap us down here. I suppose not. Oh, this is heavy. Inside the egg elevator, I put the toolbox on the floor. <laughs> You sound like an old man. Shut up. I am an old man compared to you. <laughs> really? I don't know. I, th I thought you guys were about the same age. As I said that, I pushed the up button next to the elevator door. The internal and external watertight doors had already sealed automatically. We could hear air being sent into the ballast tank under the floor. Finally, the egg-shaped elevator didn't start to float up. Uh-oh. Huh? Are you serious? The sound beneath the floor had stopped, and silence had returned. Uh, not again. Why do we keep running into problem after problem? 
Oh, it's almost like we're in some kind of visual novel. Hello, DQA. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, there's no profiles, so it's not like I can check people's ages or something, so. Yeah. Thank, thanks for that, DQA, though. Knowing it was useless, it was all useless. I pushed the up button repeatedly. Sugumi was as matter-of-fact as always. She was playing with and coiling her long, still damp hair with her finger. All right, so what do we do? Just as I said that. I guess Takashi looks young for his age then, if he's supposed to be 21. I see. Oh, that's a five year age gap. That's pretty significant when they're this age, but like when they're both in their 20s, it won't mean a god dang thing. A monitor just to the right of the frown window flickered to life. I don't know if he actually is 21, though. That's just, you know, what we said there, like if it's ever stated. He didn't look. 20. He didn't look too much older than Sukumi. Kuranari san, Komachi san. Sora! Where have you been? We looked everywhere for you. I am terribly sorry. Please accept my apologies. I was rebo uh, resting. The image of Sora in the monitor bowed deeply. That's not important right now. Sugumi and I fixed the generator. It would appear so. I wouldn't be able to talk to you otherwise. What do you mean by that? Uh, it, the monitor would not work otherwise. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Silly me. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think you know this, but we're in the egg. Uh, this... a... Yes, I know. The eye is not moving, correct? What should we do? First, in regard to the cause... Interesting, okay, so yeah, it just may be a number that you pulled out. That, that makes sense. Uh, okay. They both seem like young adults. I don't know. Sugumi looks a bit older than 16 to me. But if that's what he that that's what his opinion was. Yeah, college age, yeah. And we have no idea how old uh, Sugumi is or like what kind of school she's in. It is likely that the result of decrease out of a decrease in internal air pressure that has made the device incapable of sufficiently expelling the seawater in the ballast tank. In other words, your fact. You mean it isn't buoyant enough? Correct. There are a number of feasible methods for making it rise, but it was then that Tsugumi acted. She suddenly opened the watertight door. Hey, wait! What do you think you're doing? Without answering, Tsugumi also opened the Lemu side door. Damn, you're so cool. Okay, then. Huh? Damn, that Johnny gave me shivers. Along with that sprite right there. Sugumi tried to get out of the elevator. I grabbed her arm trying to stop her. Don't touch me! Damn! <laughs> Whack! An immediate brutal slap. I told you. Don't touch me. My cheek didn't hurt. Oh, she's not that strong, I guess. Or she held back her strength on purpose. I absently watched Sugumi return to the floor. 
Anfang. The egg quietly started to ascend. I could no longer see her on the other side of the door. Oh no! Tiefe, 50 meter. Tiefe, 40 meter. Oh no! We abandoned her, or rather, she abandoned us. Oh no! Tifa, 45 meter. Oh god, now she's just stuck down there. Oh no. She must have had a mission to do that she didn't want Takachi to see. And she only needed him to help, you know, to, to go down in the first place. Damn, and like to help carry stuff. She still doesn't trust us fully. But Takashi, are you gonna go back down and try to rescue her? And then I bet she'll be impressed by that. I guess I'm guessing this is German. I guess. Tifa, 40 meter. The recording announcement echoed with a tinny sound. Oh no! Sugumi! Sugumi! When I met everyone on Dreiterstock, they greeted me with friendly shouts. Sugumi ga dou ka shita no? What happened to Sugumi? The idiot decided to stay alone on the floor below! So mitai ne? Sure looks like it. No, it doesn't look like it! She did! She's all alone down there! Oh yeah! Oh, Chokichi! You're warming up to her! <laughs> Damn, the, my microphone keeps peeking. What the hell? Jeez. Aren't you worried about her? <laughs> I'm going back down! Woo! <laughs> Sakashi! I'm going back down, and I'm bringing Sugumi back! Hell the fuck yeah! Woo! Huh? Huh? We can't leave Sugumi alone down there! Look, she's really not as tough as she acts. Somebody has to be with her. Damn! He fell like a ton of bricks! Uh -huh. uh. Hey, what are you doing? Get your act together! Sugumi can be a bit of an ass, but that doesn't mean you have to be so cold to her. My god. <laughs> Enough! She's got her own mission to do. I don't know what it is. I guess you might know a way. I have no idea what she's trying to do. She's definitely want she definitely had something to do down there that she didn't want you to see. But her motive, her background, everything is just a complete mystery at this point. Enough! Anyway, I'm going back for her! With that, I went back to the entrance to the egg and waited in front of the doors. Next. When the doors opened... Takashi's face is so red right now. Oh my god! <laughs> I bet he is like completely beat red and like. And, and I bet you is like. 
Well done, Takashi. You just announced to us your heart for, for the in, for everyone here to see, except the most important person. What do you mean? Uh, nothing, nothing. She's just uh, making jokes, you know, good old you. <laughs> with all her who's on first crap with her name and everything. <laughs> we get it. Your name is also a pronoun. <laughs> Shut up, you. Fine, fine. Uh, will you move? <laughs> You're in my way. I simply stood there. Sugumi pushed me out of the way and walked by. There was a rock there. I would have crawled under it. So I did the next closest thing I could think of. Oh my god! <laughs> He's so embarrassed! Oh my god! This is amazing! <laughs> Tifa, 35 meter. He's like, oh my god! This is hilarious! <laughs> Tifa, 40 meter. Tifa, 45 meter. Tifa, 45 meter. I, w I went back down to Jutterstock in the egg for no reason. Oh, there's a reason. You just don't want to admit what it is. It didn't have enough buoyancy, so we had to come up one by one. Was I, st was I stupid or what? If I could have, right then, I would have liked to sink down to the bottom of the ocean. Nearly an hour had passed since the power had gone, power had gone back online. We gathered in the conference room on the third floor. Sugumi, Sora, you, Coco, and I were sitting in chairs, just letting time pass. <laughs> the rescue team still hadn't come. I wonder if a rescue team is coming at all. Our situation didn't show any sign of changing. <laughs> God damn it, Takashi, you're making me on with your yawn. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you made everyone else yawn too! My yawn spread from one person to the next, even to Collider. Only Sora had her head down and looked as if she was thinking about something. I wonder why! <laughs> oh, oh, yes, of course. Ah. Uh... Yes, yawns are contagious. Well, as if they were a disease. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, that's right! Coco suddenly started talking. Changing a little bit ago, I found this. As she spoke, Coco plucked something out of her pocket. It was a set of cards.
So, what do you want to play? Um, um, let's see. I just played that! <laughs> I just played that in freaking Witches and Woodlands! <laughs> oh, how about Super Memory? Super. Super. Mekurincho. Memory? You and Sugumi looked at each other. You're kidding! Right? You have to know this game. Right? Takipyon, you know it, right? Let's see. I'm gonna do Of Course I Know It. Of course I know it! I answered, full of confidence. You want me to help you set up the cards? Yes, please. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. What in the world are you talking about? What? Are you guys scared to play Super Memory? Are you bad at it? N no. No. I don't know if I'm good or bad at it. Huh? You mean you really? You guys really don't know the game? Mm. Nope. Eh. Me neither. You're kidding. I don't believe this. I was stunned. Well, we don't know what we don't know. You don't know everything in the world. Jeez, you know, you, you know what we know that you don't? That the elevator was was didn't have enough buoyancy, so one person got off, and we, you go one at a time. We know that. Did you know that, Takashi? Did you? Did you? Uh, uh, yeah, of course I knew that. <laughs> I was just putting on a little show for you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sad again. With that, you clammed up. It's a pretty famous game. At least I thought it was. But it's no problem. The rules are simple. I'll teach you. Coco started shuffling the cards brilliantly. First, you have to shuffle the cards really good. That you spread the cards on the table like this. She spread them out randomly so that they didn't overlap. Then we do rock, paper, scissors, and turn over cards to fit the loser. Yep, it's exactly, yep. You, you probably have to match the color and, and what card it is. I don't, I, I suppose, not suits, but just the colors. Like this! You turn over one card and then one more! Okay, so they're going a bit easy motor, I see. And if the two cards are the same number, then the person that turned them over gets them. So it's easy, huh? Hey, everybody got it? Let's play. Ugh. I can't believe Takashi knew something I didn't. Uh, yeah, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Shinke Sujaku. That's called concentration. You moron. Piro piro ping pong dong. Mental guts. Huh? Soreva Shinke Sujaku Tewane? People usually call the game concentration, don't they? Oh, we would have known that if you had used the correct name. 
What? I mean, Collider knew, she just freaking thought it was the same game because she just played it, and it sounded like that's what the little kid would call it. Well, maybe in some backwater places they might call it that, but back in old Togachiville, where the flying tanukis flew across the sky and the ground tanukis ran across the ground, and we even had fished up delicious water tanukis, we called it Super Memory. Ah, isn't that right, Coco? <laughs> sure do. That's not what I mean. <laughs> that game is clearly called Mental Guts. It's obvious. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, it's called Super Memory. Concentration. Called mental guts! Super memory! Jeez, you guys are fuzzy. Alright, I know what we'll do. Everybody calm down. We'll compromise and let's say we call it mental consumery. Mental Pirorincho. Consumery? And just then. Here you go. Oh god damn it, kid. Kid came into the conference room, cradling six cans of cola at his chest. The car game stopped before it even started. Hiya, kiddo! Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm older than you. Hey, kid, that sure was thoughtful of you. You took a cola from the kid and popped it open the towel. She held down the carbonation to keep it from erupting. Like a pro, she kept from being showered with sticky liquid. They <laughs> got these on the way. He noisily set the five other cans down on the table. I brought these too. The kid turned around. Ugh, what? These. The kid was pointing to the hood behind his neck. I stuck my hand in the hood. There were two tuna sandwiches inside it. They were the sandwiches that I had left on the bench during the blackout. I thought that somebody might be hungry. You're so thoughtful. You went over to the kid and messed up his hair affectionately. He stood there stiff as a rod, not, res rod, not resisting at all. <laughs> I think I'd use hands were probably pretty sticky for Nicole. I know. Uh, um. Hello, Mr. Valdek. Welcome to the stream. Sugumi raised her hand. <laughs> Um, if no one else wants one, I'll take one of them. Sugumi, unlike her normal self, spoke up. So all that repair work made you hungry? Huh. Of course, she didn't see, to see any need to answer my question. Alright, this one's for Sugumi. I gave Sugumi one of the sandwiches that I took from the kid's hood. Sugumi took it without saying anything. Then I held out the remaining one to Sora. <laughs> the other one is Sora's. You didn't have any breakfast, right? Or dinner last night? Or lunch yesterday? Or breakfast the other day? Or anything to drink either? Huh. That's weird. I guess she's on a diet. Uh, no, I'm fine. I, I am on a diet. Ah, uh, yeah, don't I know it. <laughs> I can tell. Don't be polite, though. I made it. I know it tastes good. 
No, really, I... I... I'm allergic to tuna. Eh, demo. Still. Hey, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Avachi's deliciousness! Ah, uh, me too. Coco and the kid raise their hands. Oh, God. Um, initiating peer pressure. Subroutines. Coco and the kid raise their hands. Sora, what? You can't eat my food? So, so uh, that's not it. I. Ooh. A. Ooh. Then what is it? You too much yesterday, or you want to die? I knew it! Come on, Sora! I, yeah, demo. No, but I, 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 I. No, you have to eat or you'll get weak. Here, take it! Uh oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go! We're about to find out if Sora is a hologram or not. I tossed a cola and tuna sandwich towards Sora. They traced a gentle arc through the air. Ah! Sora suddenly stretched out her hands. She reached out, but... Boosh. I knew it! Sora's a ghost! Ben. Basha! But Sora didn't catch them. No, she couldn't catch them. She didn't avoid them. It wasn't that she was too slow. Sora was there with her hands extended into space. The sandwich had fallen at her feet. The cola had violently slammed into the wall behind her and exploded. The spewing cola didn't get Sora wet. G -g 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 Ghosts! Uh, zoinks! What are we gonna do? The droplets looked like they flew through Sora's body. The sandwich wrapper covered the silhouette of, of, of Sora's sandal. It was as if the two had melted together. Huh? That's why I said I didn't need it. Sora made an embarrassed looking expression. What? Sora is a ghost? Impossible! How could anyone have figured this out or known this? Knew it, Tanuki ghosts, again. No, that's what I. Uh, d uh, g For some reason, I was completely stunned. I meant to toss them as if I was handing them over. <laughs> that's weird. Your hand must have slipped and suddenly made you turn translucent in my view. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, Coronari-san. There was nothing strange about it. Really, a different version of the soundtrack. I didn't know that. But, but, but the cola blew up and... Is your clothing all right? Hi. Yes. But you're stepping on the sandwich, your foot. You've got no toes, uh, Sora-san. Oh, my god. Ah, uh, my gosh. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> there, is that more to your liking? And just like that, Sora's vanished toes reappeared. But the place where the sandwich was supposed to be wavered unsteadily. I felt flustered. I didn't know what was going on. I know. Maybe she was is she doing the the yandere things?
Uh, I guess that you didn't know, Coronari-san. Sora was shuffling embarrassedly. Sora! What in the world are you? God, Takashi, you really didn't know this. I, I, I mean, oh God. For some reason, you gave a huge sigh right next to me, and then. Explanation at the park entrance. What about it? So what? What about it? Looking around, I saw that I was the only one who was surprised. Coco and Pee were looking up at Sora with impressed looks on their faces. Sugumi's face was blank. The kid looked clueless and spaced out. Jeez Louise, oh well. You was laughing at my bewilderment. <laughs> oh my god, this guy! <laughs> Enough fun at my expense, tell me what's going on. Alright, alright. Sora, sorry to bother you, but could you introduce yourself again? Yes, of course. The punctured can had stopped fizzing. Sora took a step towards us, carefully avoiding the sandwich, and straightened up. After a slight bow, she spoke. I am Akanagasaki Sora. My official name is LMRSGS4913A. このレミューの案内係を設計している人工知能、いわゆる I am an artificial intelligence or AI program in charge of guiding visitors around the move. What? You're not a ghost? No, Takashi. I am not a ghost or a tanuki. <sighs> There's bound to be more Tanuki somewhere here. I can see all those sea Tanuki swimming out the w outside the window. Uh -huh. You mean the fish? No, sea Tanuki! <laughs><笑><笑> I have been programmed as one part of the Lemi system. If you call me from any nearby terminal, I will soon appear anywhere within the Moo. また前回に及ぶ本格的なRSDを採用することで、私の姿形は実現されています。おそらく世界でも珍しいのではないでしょうか。My image reaches you through a network supporting this RSD system throughout the complex. I think that there are few places in the world boasting this kind of technology, which totally exists in 2017.
RST 確かに珍しいわねこれほどのものは他では見たことないわ RSD This really is rare I've never seen an example of it this sophisticated It's one of Lemu's big attractions Yes, I'm sorry to have caused you undue concern. I finally lost any sense of what was going on. Takashi is such a goofball! Oh my god! <laughs> the conversation had taken off and left me, left me behind. RSD? Uh, what's RSD? Seriously, damn. That's incredible, actually. I don't think I've ever seen that that type of idea in science fiction before. Simply put, it's an image display system that uses a semiconductor to shine a laser directly onto your retina. Damn. I don't think I've ever seen that explanation used for a holographic image. Ah, Naruhodo. Uh, I see. That doesn't sound safe. Oh, come on. It's not like you get cancer from it. Only 1% of people do. What? Never mind. The kid gave a big nod. But nothing about her explanation sounded simple to me. And it's supporting such an advanced personality. The surprising thing was that Tsugumi was actively pursuing the conversation. Lamu is fairly perfectionist when it comes to virtual space technologies. My existence is one manifestation of that. Doesn't that require a big system? Yes, but it is much smaller than it would have been 20 years ago. Which in 1997 would not have existed and would have been only inside people's minds. I wonder, if, I wonder if Sugumi is like a computer scientist. How big? Where is it? I'd like to see it. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but I'm not allowed to say. It is a secret. You weren't given the details. That's correct. It seemed to me that the conversation was getting more and more technical. It seemed you have motivation and a will of your own. That you're programmed for your own way of thinking. That is simply the selection of responses from a massive bank of sampling data, the results of which I give back. Random. Oh, I see. You're a learning program in which positive responses are saved, in that way and reused. That is correct. I have been designed with specific emphasis on the functions of curiosity and concentration, which Sugumi, by the way, that is the correct name of the card game. You were correct. 
Yes, I knew it. In your face, you Coco Takashi. Ha 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 ha! Your intelligence level is also very high. I'm sure you don't see any other levels of intelligence and precision. Morphological analysis from my audio input very likely operates at a speed and level of precision without peer. Far greater and faster than your puny flesh brains. Ato a chotto, tokshu na gijutsu o tsukatte iru bubun ga arimasu ne. Shousai wa kigyo himitsu desu ga. There are also a number of special technologies used to create me. However, the specifics of these are trade secrets which cannot be revealed. So ne. I see. There are things about you that normally I can't explain, but I think I get the picture. I really didn't get it at all. <laughs> it was a headache more than anything. By the way, Sora. I really <laughs> What? Oh, I get it. She's testing the AI. If I told you that I was actually a man, would you believe me? Huh? So can we toss that bizarre question out of nowhere? Don't anybody just jump in just yet. I'm asking Sora. So would you believe me? No. Well, what if I said that I, were, that I were over 20 years old? That is possible. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I'm single. I'll probably stay that way. It's what I believe. Not if I have anything to say about it! <laughs> that might well be true. <laughs> really? <laughs> Actually, I just learned that Takashi had a sex change three years ago. It's true. Although I'm still quite attracted to him. That I cannot believe. <laughs> you really are quite amazing. Sugumi laughed a little. Hey, Sugumi, what do you think you're doing? I to ask. I wanted to see. If Sora can tell when people are lying. To see if she can determine truthful information from non-truthful. Even when she has no background data. And she She can. She does more than compare and reference data with data in her memory. She's been programmed to factor in chance and intuition to make her own judgments. She's clearly some kind of computer programmer. She's got to have like some kind of expert in programming or something. She, she must study AI or something like that. The system is designed to make choices based on updated information and boost its efficiency by, re by rewriting itself. This is an incredibly advanced level of technology. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, my system uses state-of-the-art technology. But I am not very good at lying. My lying function is underdeveloped. Probably because she hasn't gotten much of a chance to use it, since her whole thing is based on learning. Sora smiled. But when you introduce yourself, you say that you're a systems engineer. That's a lie, isn't it? あれはただの設定です。私に設定されたプロフィールがそういうことになっているというだけです。That is simply a setting of mine. That is how my profile in the mainframe computer reads. 
Oh. So that's how it works. In the end, I seem to be the only one who was flabbergasted that Star was a product of AI. Yeah, it's just me. Collider and everybody else got it and knew. Oh, everybody go and laugh at Tagashi, the big dum-dum who thought she was a ghost or a normal human being. Or a tanuki. You was an employee at Lemu, so of course she knew. Sugumi was always cool as a cucumber and hot as a pepper. I wondered why she knew so much about Lemu. I guess that she looked up a lot of the information in advance. Hoko didn't seem to care one way or the other, whether Sora was a hologram or not. She was just laughing and playing with Fifi. That the kid doesn't seem to be surprised. Well, I put that down to his, to his, to his circumstances. Uh, I have an amnesia. For all I know is that we're living in a post-apocalyptic society. <laughs> Several hours passed. It seemed the sun was getting ready to set. In the dark depths of the ocean, my sense of time had eroded. I checked the time on my PDA, which is totally a PDA and not a cell phone, finally making sure it was night. Nothing changed in the moon. No one new showed up to visit us. But things hadn't taken a turn for the worse, either. There didn't seem to be any impending danger of floor collapse. We each spent the time as we pleased. We had long forgotten that we were trapped. I decided to go see Sora. God, it must be awkward as hell! Walking around in, in like, can you imagine like all day just walking around with your fucking shoes in like ankle deep water and Sugumi with her long dress? Oh my god, that has got to be infuriating. I would be driven insane just by that. Seriously. I decided to go see Sora. Honestly, I was a little confused. Thor was an AI. I wanted to know what RSD was. It might have been something I shouldn't have even bothered worrying about, but I want to ask Sora about it. Without really understanding what she was all about, I didn't think I would know how to act around Sora. Can you tell me more about RSD? I've got my interest peaked, and I want to know more about you. I... I understand. But rattling off a bunch of jargon won't do much good, will it? I might just confuse you more. <laughs> Sugumi turned herself into a cucumber! Funniest shit I ever seen! They call her Cucumber Sugumi! Cucumber Sugumi! I don't want to analyze what you've just said, ever. God damn it. Well, I'm no technician. If you start throwing out a bunch of technical terms, I'll just get lost. Like, for example, what is a keyboard? Ah, so did you talk to me when you were talking to me about Komachi? I see. So you were completely lost when I was conversing with Komachi-san. Yeah, I had no clue what you two were saying. I scratched my head. I realized that I was blushing. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? Sora looked apologetic. No, that was a good comeback. Nice tsukkomi. A good comeback. Nice tsukkomi te nan desu? What is a good comeback? Sora looked confused. Uh, it's when you say something to needle the person you're talking with or make a sharp and witty comment that makes them feel awkward. If we're go going by standard action movie logic, then you're going to do this at the end after we beat the bad guy. And, and I'll say, nice comeback. And then you'll say, thank you. That does compute, or something like that. 
Was that racist? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I see. I'm really sorry, Kuranari-san. And it wasn't. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. It didn't hurt my feelings or anything. Are you sure? I don't mind. It was fun, okay? えっと、えっと、相手に弱点を突かれたけど、面白かった <laughs> That's difficult. It is hard for me to comprehend the concept of nice comeback. Don't worry. Trust me. At the end of all this, when we've got the bad guy on the ropes, and I'm about to kick him down the friggin' ladder to his doom, you're gonna make some kind of witty co comment to, to his last words. And now I'm gonna say, See? Sora? Now that's a nice comeback. And you're gonna smile and everyone's gonna laugh as we escape this crashing this thing to crash into the bottom of the ocean and it's gonna be a great time I'm gonna make out with Sugumi a bit and you know I'll probably spend the rest of our lives together it's all gonna be great trust me just trust me oh, forget about it knowing that Sora was a product of artificial intelligence I was impressed that she was even able to register a joke I wonder if I would still be thinking that Sora was human if I hadn't tossed that can of cola to her uh, to get back to what we're talking about, can you tell me more about RSD? Yes, let's see. Let me try to explain using specific examples. Yes, please. Sora and I had to from the rest area to the control room. As we walked, Sora started speaking. Kuranari-san, can you see me? Yeah, I see you no problem. And I can see you as well. I am standing right next to you. You're sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Positive. Desuna. But... Suddenly, Sora faced me and reached out towards me. And then... Whoa! Sora's hand slipped into my chest without resistance. And then, she, as she pulled it back, I saw my own beating heart as she crushed it. Mission complete. Ha ha ha. Bad ending! No, just kidding. Reflexively, I tried to grab her arms while my hand, hands met with nothing. My hands were in front of my chest, but there was nothing there. So. Yes. So you are seeing me. However, I am not right next to you. Saying that, Sora pulled her hand back. RSD. Retinal scanning display. Oh, there you go, Void Dweller. RSD stands for Retinal Scanning Display. The display device is not actually a display. Rather, a weak laser is aimed at the retina. Isn't that dangerous? Not at all. It only has a 2% chance of causing cancer. I thought you said 1%. Never you mind. Retina? You mean my eye? Yes. In the ceiling of each room and corridor are semiconductor lasers uh, laser output devices. Kuranari-san's 
So the, so the image is being directly reflected onto your retina. Image? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm getting some kind of, uh, some theories here. This could be used to fake other people being in the building. Not just, not just like Sora, but there could be other people that are being faked as well. Like, for example, what if they aren't really underwater? What if they're in like a test facility or some shit? What, what if they're being experimented on or something like that? What if it's like 999 where actually they're in the middle of the fucking desert instead? I, uh... And like the water has been just like controlled and pumped in through the sides. Like, this is gonna be used in the future, I know it. Like there's gonna be like some kind of fake image or something that like that's been probably going on the whole game that we thought was real something like that i fucking know it there's gotta be and that's gonna be the real plot twist with this i wonder what it would be though <sighs> anyway back to the story so sorry if i've been interrupting a lot this time it's just that i'm really enjoying this and i like I like engaging with the characters when I'm real, when I'm having fun reading this. Yes, my image. Directly on my retina. 一般的なホノグラフィックスクリーンは背後にある物体を透過してしまいますが。Holographic screens typically allow for the objects behind them to be visible. ガンキューそのものを仮想画面として扱い、また周囲背景と合成した画像を高速で送り続けることでその問題はクリアされています。This system uses the eyeball as a virtual screen and continually sends an image synthesized with the background scenery. See, like, like, look at this. It's like what she's basically talking about, although I, I don't is augmented, although the term probably didn't exist in the early 2000s, is augmented reality. Really, is what she's talking about. And uh, th there's gotta be something big, there's gonna be something big as a plot twist that, that like that we've, we've thought constantly about our surroundings that, that was there, that is, uh, that's a fake, that we all thought was real. Well, what about your voice? It's not like your voice is coming from where your mouth appears. He arrived at the rest area, and I sat on a nearby bench. Sora continued standing in front of me. Sora, why don't you sit down? I I don't get tired, so I'm fine standing. That's true, Mr. Valdek, but that's, um... <laughs> oh my god, boy dollar! Well, they're deep in the ocean, so wouldn't it be a deep fake? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Mr. Baldick, this isn't, uh, this isn't Zero Escape. <laughs> and of course, that's the plot twist. We're the time travelers all along. I don't get tired, so I'm fine standing. I understand that, but it makes me uneasy. 
It makes me it makes me feel like you're straining straining yourself or something. So this is Is that right? Then excuse me. Sora slowly slapped down to the left of me. I didn't feel the bench move under her weight. But looking at her, she was definitely sitting. We were talking about my voice. That's right. Have you ever heard 3D sound? 3D sound? Are you just talking about stereo? Have you ever listened to music using headphones? Of course I have. When you do, where does it sound like the music is coming from? Uh, inside my head, I guess. That's right. Most people hear the sound as if, as if it's reverberating inside the center of their head, toward the back. But the sound is not actually coming from inside your head. I guess not. But if you could apply this knowledge and adjust the volume from the left and the right to accurately simulate this reverberating sound. Then you could create the illusion that a sound was coming from above or below, left or right, any direction. This is all going to be super important, I can tell. This is like, no, something is going to be fake that we think is real later on and going to be caused by this. It basically means you can create illusions. It's basically, it's basically saying illusion spells are, are, are on the market here. And uh, it can be anything you want, basically. Like, any, any kind of illusion is possible here. I see. Oh, so you mean the voice converters! Duh! I still had both of them in my ears. I removed them. They were about the size of the tip of my little finger. In front of me, Sora's mouth moved soundlessly. It was like I couldn't hear her voice. But that wasn't all. Then her image started to get a little fuzzy. Huh? Damn it, he took his voice converter out once before, too. What happened then? Fuck. When I replaced the voice converter, Sora returned to normal. I see. The image's position is based on the location of the voice converters. So wherever you stand and whichever direction you face. Lemmy is constantly using sensors around the complex that monitor the position of the voice converters to the millimeter. So that when I am 20 meters behind you, that's smart. That answers the sound question actually quite well, actually. My voice will sound as if I'm exactly 20 meters behind you. When I am to the right, sounds comes to the right. When I'm to the left, sound comes from the left. <laughs> when I am under you, sound comes from under. When you're under, um, 
Well. とにかくそういうことなんです。わかりました Anyway, that is how it works. Do you understand? クラナリさん、今度はちょっと左を向いてみてください。そう、あんたたちスペクリンにワンダウン。コーナーリさん、Now try to face a little to the left. I face to the left, she said. So I stood and moved around to my right. さっき私は、レミがクラナリさんの位置と向きを常に把握していると言いましたが。Just a moment ago, I said that Lemmy is constantly monitoring your position and the direction you are facing. Doji, Kuranari san no Gankyu no Goki to Ichimo, Sune ni Kesok si, New Lok si teiru no des. Nani the fuck? There's no way they created this technology just for a freaking tour guide. This has gotta be being used for some other purpose. At the same time, Lemmy is also monitoring the position of your eyeballs. This is why Kuranari san is going to be watching the position of your eyeballs. This is why This technology is insane. So that even if you move, I still appear in the same place. God damn, all sorts of theories are going through my head right now. そう見えるような画像をレミがスキャンしているということです。Oh God, Uchikoshi, I've missed your stuff so much, seriously. Even though it's only been a year since、uh, AI Somnium came out. This means that Lemmy scans the image onto your eye in this way. So you could be made to suddenly disappear or reappear in another place? Do you want to see it? Instant transmission, baby. No, I think I'll pass. I heard someone come running up to us. <laughs> the small footsteps were those of Coco and Pipi. She's right here. What are you talking about? She's right in front of you. Maybe in front? But there's nobody here. Huh? What's going on now? Coco tilts her head questioningly as she said that. Why didn't, she, why didn't she want to appear for Coco? After looking around us, Coco left. Sora was still standing right next to me. Coco hadn't been able to see Sora. No, that wasn't it. So that's it. See,、so、your image wasn't being scanned onto her retina. That's it. Nomi Komi ga hayai desu ne. I see, she just used her as an example. There you go, you're quick to pick it up. The quicker picker upper, Takashi. Normally, my image is scanned onto the eyes of all five of you. But it's coordinated so that it looks to everyone like I am in the same place. Doing the same movement and saying the same thing. That is very convenient timing. But we saw Coco before the whole thing started. We pretty much saw all the cast members before this started. Yep! Here we go! But it is also possible to show you something else. Tatoeba. For example. Ha! s o r a s a n Ah, s o r a s a n there you are! Coco's voice came from behind me. 
Looking back, I saw Coco looking towards the flower bed and speaking. Oh, so to Coco, it looks like Sora's in front of the flower bed, huh? Hey, Sora. I didn't see Sora anywhere. Thanks, GQA. Yeah, Koku and Sugumi were definitely outside the facility. Which is really good, because my heart would be fucking breaking if Sugumi was was like an, was an AI or something. But I think she's been acting too suspiciously, but not suspicious in the evil way. Like, suspicious in like, she's definitely hiding something way. And there's no reason for Koku to be like an, a, a computer program. To talk to you. No, no, that's not what I. Okay, so that's what Coco was probably talking to Sora. Remember that time when we saw her talking to someone alone that we couldn't see? Oh, I see. You want me to bring it? Coco was continuing her conversation with Sora. Okay, I'm just done. I'll go tell Naki. See you later. Coco ran off somewhere. BB followed her. So I can do this kind of thing as well. I am basically God here. Sora suddenly appeared before me. Shing! Instant transmission, baby. Wah! Let's not start this up again! Yes, I hear that a lot. Being in the same place and looking at the same thing, only some people can see it and some people can't. I've never seen one, but if ghosts really do exist. Yeah, you're not the first to uh, compare AI and ghosts. Basically, especially uh, Red vs. Blue kind of did a thing where basically in, in, in that universe, AI kind of are ghosts. In that they're created from dead people's brains. So. And basically, they're, they're kind of ghosts in every sense of the word in, in that universe. I imagine they exist in much the way that I do. Huh. Now I get it. You're a Tanuki ghost robot! Yes. Yes, I am. Ha <laughs> ha! But there is something that bothers me. What is that? Sora, so you can't play in more than one place at a time? For example, you couldn't be in one room talking to me and another talking with Coco? Theoretically, it is possible. However, the way I, that I am designed, I can't do that. I was specifically designed not to flex on people that badly. Why not? I imagine it was used to help maintain an image of reality for visitors. Sora 
so that there is only one Sora in the world. So you said, Tennis to Okanaito, Okaksama no Nakaniwa, Conlan Nasanel Katamura Shamasi. Without that kind of setting, visitors would get confused. Huh? So they told, say, section of policy, this n e That and it was the policy of my designer. But as you. The policy of my designer was to greet me as a character with independent personality. So, you have a United Land of the character, you know, 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 I see. There is only one of each character in the park. Monogatari no Naka to Onaji Yoni, Onaji Shuri no character, Nikasho ni Sonzai Shinai Yoni, Hairo Sarete i r o desu. Like in a story, there can't be any one character in two places at the same time. That ended kind of abruptly. So I had more work to do, so I saw her to the control room. It seems strange that Sora, who could teleport anywhere instantly, was walking. Maybe she was doing it to humor me. I was wondering about the laser retina scan, so exactly how bad of a cancer are we talking about? Oh, not that bad. <sighs> so. If I was in a place that the laser couldn't reach, then I couldn't see you? Of course not, but. Really? There's mirrors? We haven't seen one goddamn mirror that, that actually works. The scanning devices are located in every room of the complex, and there are mirrors embedded in the walls, ceilings, and floors to reflect the images. So, almost no matter where you are, I can be displayed. So, there are no blind spots. That's the way it is designed. However, there is one major flaw. Flaw? I. I am only seen when someone looks at me. How philosophical. What? Dare mo watashi no koto o mite ina kereba, watashi wa sonzai shinai mo douzen, toyu koto desu. Y'all know what's coming up, right? Y'all knew? It's. Every visual novel's favorite plot device is gonna come up. It's, it's coming. I, I know, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I mean that I cease to exist when no one is looking at me. For example, if the five of you are all closed your eyes at once. At that moment, I would cease to exist. I casually held my hand up in front of my eyes. I covered my view forward and looked down near my feet. There was no sign of Sora next to me. It was as if she had vanished or never been there in the first place. Exactly, Mr. Valdek. That, 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 it doesn't like her, her central core is still active. But I guess she's saying that, like,、uh, she doesn't ex. Be, but、uh, she's saying that her image. She's talking about her image. I, I assume her body, or for what it's worth, doesn't exist, yeah, without、uh, the lasers to reflect into people's eyes.
But um, I assume she could still talk over the speakers, over the loudspeakers. Surprised, I removed my hand and saw her reappear in the corridor. The outline of Sora's sandals blurred dimly in the water. Someone has to see me. I have to be seen in order to exist. Vision. Someone's perspective actually creates me. Kuranari-san. When you close your eyes, I disappear. When we entered the control room, I heard her being called from the console. Kuranari-san,それでは... Well, Kuranari-san. Remy,呼ばれてしまいましたので、少しの間ですが、行ってきますね。Lemmy is calling for me, so I will leave and then come back shortly. And saying that, Sora disappeared. Interesting, they didn't mention it. I I could have sworn that she was going to talk about uh, Schrodinger's cat. Only the three-dimensional hologram depicting Lemu hovered silently in the darkness. It was night time. But deep below the ocean's surface, it was only slightly darker than before. Fortunately, the damage to Lemu hadn't worsened. We liked dinner at the tuna sandwich shop and gathered in the conference room. Contagious. <laughs> yes, of course, Mr. Valdek, Schrodinger's Tanuki. Everybody looks so sleepy. Well, there's really nothing to do. The only person that seemed completely awake was Goku. Everyone else was slouched in chairs, just spacing out. There was no impending danger, no new developments. The situation we were in remained unchanged. And it somehow felt as though time had stopped. Kuranari, you're such a slob! You said that in a tired sounding voice. And stop dawdling. But there's no reason to go wandering around the complex now, right? We're just gonna have to wait for help to come anyway, right? Uh, so? Yeah, I suppose. Alright, I'm off for a little bit. I don't think anyone's coming to help. Rubbing her shoulders, you stood up. Yeah, no one in particular, just a walk. I've got to move around or I'll get tired. That's dangerous in the water. Oh, I know that's from the base. Coco's eyes lit up. A race? 
You don't want to? No, I didn't say that. You made a face, but she didn't seem to be in a bad mood. Then let's have a chat. Okay, I'm in. But tag with two people doesn't sound very fun. Want me to play? The kid stood up. May I participate as well? It, is that even possible? Sora approached Coco and the others. Yes, please. Alright, I'm gonna win. I couldn't tell why, but everyone was excited to play. I suppose everyone was bored. Hey, where do you want to play? Hmm, how about in this room? Coco looked around the conference room. I surveyed it too. Sugumi sat with an annoyed expression on her face. <sighs> you never shut up. She lazily stood from her chair and walked briskly to the corner of the room. And flipped off the light switch. <laughs> Sugumi returned to her seat and slowly sat down again. What are you thinking? It's dark. It was too bright for me to relax. It's also 10 p.m. Is it illegal to sleep at 10? Some people want to rest. Well, that doesn't mean you just go turning off the lights. Actually, yes, it does. Just because you want to rest. What about you? Huh? Don't you want to rest? No, I'm... I'm... Oh, we're gonna get a choice here, I think. Oh, yeah. Hey, Takashi, you wanna play tag? Tag, huh? I want to stay and chat with Sugumi. Nah, I think I'll pass. I want to rest like Sugumi said. I think I'll hold off for now. If I don't get to talk to her, then I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. Cause, jeez. Once you get older like me, tag takes its toll on your body. Hmm, <laughs> Older, huh? Thank you, you. Takashi does not look that old at all. I would easily say he's a teenager. Like an older teenager, but definitely a teenager. Well, you must be older than you look. What? Yeah, and besides, Kuranari doesn't seem too sharp anyway. I'll better get caught right away. You don't know what you're talking about! I stood up energetically. Oh, does that mean Kuranari wants to play now? Come on, Taki Pyon, it'll be fun! Wait a sec, I didn't say that I'm playing. Oh. You're not gonna play? Surrendering without a fight? Sounds like chicken to me. Alright, alright, I'll play your dumb game. I was overruled by the majority. I wanted to rest! Oh, I wanted to be with Sugumi! Well, I figured it's better than staying here doing nothing. I was playing, but I wasn't happy about it. Oh, Sugumi, I wanted to stay there with you! Oh, God. Sugumi glanced at me out of the corner of her eye and then looked away. Should we leave the lights off? 
The kid whispered this to me. The emergency lights are on, but it's kind of dark. You okay with that? Let's respect Tsugumi's wishes. But this doesn't seem like tag at all. Coco pulled out a flashlight as she recited the run. How about kick the cat instead? It's also fun, don't you think? Coco lit up her face with the flashlight from under her chin, trying to get everyone to agree. Kick the can? What is kick the can? That's hide and seek. <laughs> hey, that's just hide and seek tag. No, it's not. Listen. Oh, sorry. So that's kind of a hide and seek, right? Oh, well, everyone knows how to play that. No, it's kick the can! This is gonna be your thing, isn't it? You just make new names for games that everybody knows. That's a glorified kind of hide and seek. Anyway, who cares about the name? Let's play! <sighs> oh, jeez Louise. As we were getting all pumped for the game, Sigumi let out a sigh. You are so noisy. Oh, Sigumi. I wanted to play with you. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Jeez. Tsugumi quietly stood up and walked to the far exit, leaving the room. Tsugumi, Is Tsugumi mad? Who knows, anyway. She'll come back after a while. You'll see. After that. We decided it was it using rock, paper, scissors. Hi. Ready? Go! I guess that choice didn't matter. Hi. Ready? Go! Hi. Ready? Go! Damn, I lost. Alright, so Kurinari is it first. Good luck. Everyone was grinning at me. Damn. Hi. Here you go, Takashi. The kid handed me the empty can. You can hide anywhere as long as it's on the third floor. Alright, everyone, let's hide! Ready? Wisek! I held up a hand, hurriedly stopping you from sending everyone off. You, what did you just say? 
Let's hide. No, before that. You can hide anywhere on the third floor. Are you serious? Not just the conference room. This room is too small, and there aren't any that many places to hide. But the whole third floor? Oh, of course the areas that can be reached by walking from here are off limits. Save the emergency corridors and stairs. That's still too big! It's not it's not fair to the person that's it. While he's looking for one person, someone else will definitely kick the can. Well, I think it's fine. It's not fine. The game won't work. This is a major problem. <laughs> Gosh, you sure complain a lot. Well, he would certainly appear to be at a disadvantage. Interesting. I bet this is going to factor into something. They're going to be able to hear something that they wouldn't normally have heard. I will dim the lights on the third floor, but in return I will make it so that sounds carry better. If sounds carry, then you can hear when someone moves across a corridor with water. That will give the person who is it an advantage. And I will make it so that you know when people are moving. I will synthesize footsteps and play the sound on the voice converters. Okay, sounds good. Exactly. Oh, but what should I do if I should get to the can first? Uh, 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 uh. That's right, you can't kick the can. We'd only just noticed if we played tag, we would have had to ban Sora from jumping, jumping about as an image. Then you can be with me, Sora-san. We'll make it so that Sora-san and I have to be within a meter of each other, and we hide it when we are it. In that case, I'll kick the cow for both of us. Okay, let's try that. Okay, thank you. On top of that, we made Sora promise not to use the bioscanner or Lemu to monitor the location of anyone. Oh boy. Oh god, I hope Sukumi's okay. Yeah, that makes it fair then. Alright! All set! It looked like everyone was ready. I took the can, closed my eyes, and counted to 100 in the conference room. During that time, the others scattered throughout the third floor. One hundred. I opened my eyes. I put the can by my feet. I looked around at the dim light. There was no one around. I guess I'll have to go look. I faced the nearby door. My footsteps reverberated, producing an unnaturally deep sound. It's kind of like how I imagined sonar would sound. I see. So this is what Sora meant by making the sound carry better. I felt like I was in a submarine. I thought that I have to pay attention to which sounds were mine and which were others. All of the lights were off, but the doors opened automatically. First, I thought I would head for the...
elevator hall. But the elevator wasn't moving. I was sure no one would be there. But that might have been exactly what someone was hoping I would think. I entered the elevator hall. There was really no place for anyone to hide. I checked along the walls, but there wasn't anyone there. All the elevators were stopped, and there was no sign of anything moving. Maybe I should ignore this area. The central control room was one idea. Oh, that choice didn't really matter. The monitors in the room were off, and the room was only dimly lit. The computers weren't moving. I peeked into the lockers and under the desks, but no one was there. I wonder if the computer can project someone. Could it also hide someone that is there? I wonder. What if there was like another person that was there with them the entire time, but it was being hidden by 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 uh, Lemmy with this very same system that's used to project Sora? Like they would be basically invisible here. Well, I figured no one would want to hide in a place that could be cramped and hard to get out of. I gave up looking any more thoroughly and left the room. I thought about where I should go next. Oh! Just then I heard a sound. Someone was running along the corridor. The footsteps were heading toward the conference room from the Lemurian ruins. Oh no! I rushed back the way I'd come. Who is that? Oops! When I shouted, the moving person flinched. The person I found at the corner was the kid. I didn't know if I had given up because I ran after him. He had given up because I ran after him, but he stopped in the corridor. The second one, Mr. Baldek. A laser blocking the image of a real person in the retina. Exact. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh no, you caught me. Am I the first one? Yep. Dang, that means if you catch everyone, then I'm it next. I reckon so. I wonder if someone will show up to help me. Takashi, oh Takashi, if you don't go step on the can, then I'll go kick it. You sure know your kick the can rules. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Crash. Whoa. Flash. Suddenly, you came flying from the side and completely cold cocking with a jumping top to the neck. My head went underwater. My mouth filled with salt water. Oh god. I love this sprite. This is an amazing. I love this sprite right here. <laughs> you was pointing at me in the water and cackling crazily. <laughs> Floundering about in the water, I stood up. Hey, you! <laughs> I won this battle! Hey, stop messing around! Wait! Oh, wait for you to catch me? No thanks. Hey, you! I'll get back- I'll get you back for that! Just you wait, you! You, you, you! I took off in a mad dash after you. You disappeared in the, into the conference room. She tried to close the door before I got there, but I made it in first. All right. You couldn't find the can and was wandering, was wandering about. I ran by you. I got inside of the can and slid into it. Put the can under my foot and declared. I found you. I stomped on the can. Shortly soon after that, the kid came in. I found the kid. I stomped on the can. I continue my declaration. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you really think you could outwit me, the genius Takashi? Of 
for Nari, you cheater! You changed this place to the can! Nobody said where, where we had to put the can, right? Besides, you smacked me, so I figured we're even. <laughs> alright, alright, whatever. Anyway, so on the first person you caught? You got it. Well, that plan was sure a failure. Huh? What plan? As they were talking, the sound of splashing footsteps could be heard approaching the door. Yeah, Hello! I found Sora and Coco and Pipi. I stepped on the can. Oh, did you get beaten here, Tanaka-san? Things didn't quite work out as planned. Oh, sorry. I accidentally clicked off the screen. Naku, don't you think you jumped the gun a little bit? You said we would all charge together. So that was your plan. Yeah, I thought if we all went for the can at once, you wouldn't be able to stop us. That's pretty dirty. <laughs> you laughed mischievously and with a hint of embarrassment. We gathered in the center of the room. Well, finding all of you was easier than I thought. First of all, mob style kicking up the can is definitely not allowed. Huh? Why? You think I could stop you if you'll come attack at once? Impossible. That's why it takes all the fun out of it. Timing your rush just right. Waiting for the person who is it to go searching. All of that would disappear from the game. Hey, guy days. Well, right. You reluctantly agreed to be it the next time. I had to hand. I thought that maybe she was used to hand to hand. Full contact battles have kicked the can. All right, everybody good with that? Sora, Coco, the kid, and Pipi, everyone nodded. Okay then, you is it next. The can is over there, so you get it. Put it where you want and count. Kabing. Clatter. Oh my god. Was it Sugumi? The sound of a can being kicked ran out in the darkness. The can went rolling powerfully toward the corridor. Hey, who kicked that? It wasn't me! Oh, it was her. <laughs> as soon as she got that out of her mouth, you started to run away. You scoundrel! Everyone scattered like scared butterflies. Splashing sound of footsteps echoed as they reached, receded down the corridor. <sighs> Jeez, this means I gotta be it again. No one responded. I looked around the room. No one was left. Huh? Uh-oh. I wonder if... Sugumi kicked the can. What if Sugumi is being blocked from the computer, like I just said? Despite what she said, Sugumi was probably playing on the sly. Or was it, a, was it another person being blocked, like I said? She should have said so then. Oh well. All right, I'm counting to 100. 1, 10, 11, 100. <laughs> Here I go! I'm gonna get all of you. I thought about where I should start looking. Damn, now the creepy music is playing. Uh-oh. I arrived at the tuna sandwich shop. The area was dark, but it still smelled delicious. Dang, I'm hungry. Maybe I'll just stop for a bite. I reached for some of the sandwiches packaged and lined up at the, on the counter. I took off the wrapping and took a bite. Ouch, that's hard. Oh, it's a display model. <laughs> I had taken a bite of a wax sample and it was tasteless. 
There was no way I was eating that. Oh, well. I ran around to the back of the shop and went inside. I thought I'd make myself a fried tuna sandwich. The light inside the shop was dim. But since I'd been appointed chairman of the breakfast committee that morning, I knew exactly where the food and cooking equipment were. I stooped over to the, open the fridge by my feet. There should still be loads of food in here. Huh? Something was there sticking out beside the fridge. A hand! It was a pair of white hands I'd seen them before. Above them was a face I'd seen before. She was looking around nervously. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> She's hiding! Huh? Yeah! I guess she hadn't noticed me. Looking up and seeing me, she stiffened. She seemed flustered, her mouth agape and eyes looking around desperately. Eh, uh, eh, to... Uh, I, um... I Welcome to our restaurant. Huh? Bent over awkwardly, Sora shifted gears and suddenly shot me a smile. Oh, another customer. What'll you have? What can I get you today? I'll take a fried tuna sandwich. But I'm pretty sure that's all you've got anyway. Now I'm getting... This thing is making me hungry for tuna sandwiches. I love tuna sandwiches. <laughs> and I haven't had one in quite a while. It's making me want to have one. <laughs> oh, is that right? I'll get right on it. Uh, and uh, would you like a drink with that? <laughs> Let's see. Sora, I'm busy obeying the rules of the game so strictly. I thought maybe you'd vanished somewhere or gone off where I couldn't find you. But that would rule with the game, wouldn't it? I play by the rules. I know, but still. If you're gonna go through the trouble of hiding, you should try to hide a little better. Sora had simply squatted down and covered her head. Is that right? I didn't think I would be that easy to find. Well, since you found me, there's not much I can do about it. I took some bread out of the fridge for a sandwich. <laughs> Kuranari-san, I'm not out until you step on the can. Yeah, I know. Don't you think that this is not the time to be eating bread? No, nah, it's okay. With you here, it means that Coco is around here also, right? Uh, yes. Don't worry, I'll hound her out after I finish this. Bang, bang. I found it on the stainless steel kitchen counter. I know you're hiding in the back of the shop already. If that's where you want to be, that's fine. If you aren't there, then tell me. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, Coco, you're so adorable. You could see her in the background, do Wait. Wait. Oh my god. She's right there! You can see the hem of her skirt! Oh my god! Coco-chan, such an adorable child. Coco-chan, if you talk, he will find you. <laughs> huh? Girl, you fell for the oldest trick in the book! Coco and Pipi came out from under the counter together. Oh, this isn't really a choice, it's just a thing. I found Sora, Coco, and Pipi. I stepped on the can. Oh, okay. 
So it's gonna show him finding everybody. I thought I checked some other rooms. I stood in front of the Lemurian ruins. The lights inside the attraction were off. Apparently the inside was like a maze. I wonder if somebody's hiding in the maze. I thought about going in, but inside was even darker than the room. Even if I did go in, coming back out would have been a royal pain. Getting out of there looked a lot more difficult than going in. I figured it was silly to take the risk and go look in there. I took a look around the perimeter and didn't see anyone. I strained to listen. I didn't hear anything. Whoa! Suddenly I heard music from within the attraction. I thought it might be the attraction song. Mixed in with the music was the sound of someone running away. Stop right there, you! You! I ran to block the exit, moving in the direction that I thought the footsteps were heading. I knew it! Hey! How'd you know it was me? The same trick used to scare me with the dolphin carousel before. I don't fall for the same trick twice. Oh, that's right. I forgot I'd already done that. You're not going to try to tackle me now that I've got you, are you? Ah, uh, you already knew I was going to do that too? Dang. <laughs> I can read you like a book, you. She was the kind of person that was mostly transparent once you knew what they were about. Alright, you got me. I give up. You held up her hands. I recognized she knew that she couldn't squeeze by me. She'd given up on getting the can. She walked behind me with her hands in the air, like she just didn't care. I found you! I stepped on the can! Just like that, I rounded up everyone, stepped on the can, and ended the game. Only Sugumi was left. What?! I looked around outside the room and was surprised. Sugumi was sitting calmly in a chair, waiting. I found Sugumi! Huh? Huh? Don't play dumb with me! Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I know better than that. You're playing dumb, I know it. Dumb? You're the one who kicked the can, right? Can? What are you talking about? I knew it! I knew it! The computer is being used to hide someone! Just like it's being used to, pro to project... To project Sora. It, the same exact technology is being used to hide somebody. What are you talking about? Sugumi stood up. I jumped. Sugumi kicked the can first. I thought I'd lose. I frantically ran to the can where the can was. Oh, I found Sugumi! I stepped in the can. Oh, what's... Jeez. What are you doing, Takashi? What? What? My foot was searching for the can, but found only space. The can is gone! I squinted, scouring the area around me. The can shined in the emergency lights, dimly visible in the corner of the room. Hey, what's you been caught? It's against the rules to kick the can. I shouted that into the darkness, but everyone had already run away. There was nothing I could do. I was it again. I had to go search. Kid, you, Coco, Fifi, Sora. I knew they couldn't have gone far and thought I'd find them quickly. So we stayed around in the conference room. It didn't look like she felt like going anywhere. Just to be safe, I got everyone and stepped on the can again. The next time, nobody kicked the can. This time, this time, the kid is it. Yep, there's a, there's someone else among us. That. Absolutely. They're being hidden using the same technology. Yeah, avoid dweller. The, the ocean is just cold in general. 
especially deep underwater. All right, so I count to 100, right? The kid took the can and sat in the chair with his face down. All right, here I go. Each, one, two, three. I don't think I would, I mean, uh, I don't think I would play it on this channel, Boy Dweller. Although it sounds like a really fun game. We left the conference room, running around the floor. Coco, Pipi, and Sora vanished down the corner amidst the sound of splashing. You approached me. Kranari, would you say we work together? Huh? Ganging up is against the rules. I think I'll pass. Don't be so stubborn. Why'd you approach me? We just happen to be going in the same direction, that's all. I see. I wonder if here would be safe. The bathroom could be against the rules. It's not a good idea. Oh, and this was a dead end, huh? Let's get back. I wonder if we still have time. I strained my ears to listen. 34, 35. I could faintly hear the kid counting. Seems like we still got some time. I think it'd be more fun if we had made the emergency corridor as part of the game. That would make searching a hassle. But there are only a few routes to the conference room, so it's kind of boring. Well, that's because you run around so loudly that anyone can hear you coming a kilometer away. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, wait, be quiet. Fifty-one, fifty-one, fifty-two. We can still counting. Let's find somewhere to hide. Yeah. We ended up at the Lemurian ruins. You want to go in the ruins? The maze? Getting out will probably be a pain, but... Don't say that! You pushed me toward the entrance of the ruins. I peered into the attraction. The inside was dark, as if it had been painted pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. Oh, that might be too dark. The lights and the emergency lights are both off. I strained, looking into the darkness. It looked as if the darkness went on forever. Heading in there like this would be reckless, huh? Something moved in the darkness. A person appeared from the ruins. You were in there, Sugumi? Yes, yes I took a look around. It's completely dark. You'd best not go in. Completely dark, huh? Sugumi left us. Looking tired, Sugumi kicked the water under her feet lightly. And I heard the sound of something click in her hand. The sound I've heard before. Sugumi, did you take the flashlight? It'd be impossible to walk around ins inside without it. Oh my god, are they all gonna be together? 
Coco came running and splashing up with Sora in tow. Everybody but Kid is in one place. So this is where everybody was. Hey! It's Coco and Sora. Welcome. But if we're supposed to be hiding, clumping up like this isn't too bright, is it? Oh, you're right. When he finished counting 200 soon? You're right. And Sugumi's playing too, right? I'm not playing, Baka. I just happen to be around here. Takeshi got hit on the Takashi, stop talking about me that way. I hate being doubted. Alright, alright. What the fuck? What are you all doing around here? You're planning a strategy? No, not exactly. Well, I guess we better scatter and hot. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. ]そうだね. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing here? How is this possible? Hey, what's a kid doing here? Huh? What are you talking about? Kids, you're. Are there two kids? Is, is he a twin? Does Kid have a twin? Did you forget that you're it? Hmm? Oh my! Whoa! I knew some plot thing would come from this. 98, 99. <laughs> he has an evil twin, doesn't he? Hey, whose voice is that? The lights turned on. Who turned the lights on? I did. We were able to see the area around us. You, Sora, Koko, Sugumi, the kid, and me. Everyone was accounted for. Everyone appears to be present. Sora extended her hand out into the air. The life readings of the complex do not appear to be abnormal. There is nothing moving around the conference room. I don't get it. Now, I remember from the very beginning when we made that choice. We were choosing which way to go. And I bet that that choice determined which twin we were was going to be in the story. Was going to be the one with us. He's going to have a twin, doesn't he? Like his memory loss is part of this. Who could have been counting? It wasn't you? N no! I thought it sounded like you, so then who? Uh, I don't know. Hey! That was counting kit. Who? <laughs> God damn it, Sora, not you too! Could it be a ghost? Are you serious, Sora? You 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 can't be serious. No, I am completely serious. Takashi was on to something. He is actually a genius. Okay, now that I know there are some errors in your AI. Oh boy, the water must be seawater must be seeping into your brain. 
Sora said it with a straight face. If it is a ghost, I would like to make its acquaintance. Splish splash. The sound of someone moving through the water reaches from the outside the room, and the end of the can came rolling to a stop in front of us. Here we go, clatter clatter. The can stopped in a shallow area with a hollow metallic sound. Woof! Pippi took the can in his mouth again and ran circles around us. That was the end of Kick the Can. Oh my god! In the end, it remained a mystery who was counting. We passed the rest of the night uneventfully, yet terrified and none of us able to sleep. It was a fearful time, and decided I decided to enjoy a satisfying rest. Oh my god. I woke from my slumber. A stale, cold feeling. I remembered slouching in the chair and slumping forward on the table. Even then, the sleep I got was far better than the day before. Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning. It appeared that you had gotten out just before me. What time is it? Almost 5.50 a.m., I think. You sure are an early riser. What are you talking about? You're just lazy. Saying that, you let out a big yawn. Uh, that again being all tense for so long probably just gets you tired. Uh, it's probably better to sleep than you can. <laughs> so they're just gonna ignore this. If even Sora doesn't know what it is, that means it's something that's being hidden from her. A.K.A. it's part of it's a black box within the system that she has no authority to access to hide the other kid. Being in a situation like this. We really need to keep well rested. Because when it comes down to it, if we can't think our way out of the situation, we're in trouble. Hey, I said that yesterday. Uh, yeah, I suppose you did. <laughs> Dodging the subject, you laugh slightly. Hey, since you're up, uh, why don't you go wash your face? It was the other- I bet it's been the other kid writing on his face. Yeah, I might as well. He has something written on his face again. Ugh, hey, you didn't write on my face again, did you? I instinctively rub my cheeks. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't write anything. I stood up slowly and checked my surroundings. Coco had arranged some chairs to create a makeshift bed. She was asleep on top of them. And at the base of her pillow, Peepee's neck was cocked to the side. It looked like he was sleeping too. I got up, squeezed by the sleeping Coco, and opened the door. Yeah. Hey! Oh, morning, kid. Takeshi, you're 
Hey, don't look so depressed, Takashi. I'm still sleeping. Well, a lot's happened in the last couple of days. Are you worn out? I'm alright, I just need to freshen up, that's all. See ya. I headed to the nearest bathroom. The water covering the floor seeped into my shoes, which had only just finished drying. They got wet all over again. My socks got heavy and clung to my feet. My pace slowed. Ah, what a friggin' pain! Splash. Scooping up water from around my feet, I splashed it on my face. Whoa, that's cold. I was shivering, but at the same time, my whole body felt awake. So that was why people washed their faces in the morning. Well, and to, you know, get ready to put makeup on, but I guess whatever floats your boat. When I went back to the conference room, the conversation quickly turned to what we were going to eat. Sugumi and Sora aren't here. You sure it's okay? I hope they're okay. Well, we know Sora's okay. <laughs> That's true, but they'll probably show up eventually. Yeah, knowing those two, you're probably right. I decided to wake up Coco. Hey, get up! It's morning! I shook her shoulder gently. <laughs> Rubbing her eyes, Coco got up slowly. Oh, now you're calling him Onichan! <laughs> oh, good morning, Onichan! Huh? Onichan? Oh, I see. You have a brother, Coco. I'm not your brother. No. I, oh, she is still asleep, Coco. We need to get ready or we'll be late for school. Coco was still half in dreamland. Late for school? What are you talking about? Well, that's just the setting it is. <laughs> of course, Mr. Valdrick. Hanyu kicked the can, of course. That is totally something Hanyu would do in this situation. Of course it had to be Hanyu. Uh, listen. Stop messing around, we're gonna eat. Ah, okay, Takepion. Ah, okay, Takepion. We all made our way to the kiosk. Everyone okay with hot dogs? Hot dogs? They have hot dogs here? Well, I found a few in the back of the fridge. Must have been on the stealth menu. I was relegated to cook duty again. In Kranari, are they done yet? Why do I have to be so hungry? My stomach is gonna cave in. I'm gonna become two dimensional. I'm float away on the wind. Would you shut up already? <laughs> <laughs> I was inside the kiosk that had been made to look like a submarine. Sausages were sizzling in a frying pan. They sold sub sandwiches there, so I guess the exterior of the place was a sorry play on that. Why am I thinking about stupid things like that? In a little while, the place started to smell great. I carefully placed a sausage in the toasted, lightly buttered hot dog buns. Alright, whoever wants to eat, get in line! I'm first! Oh, well here you go. Thank you! Thank you! 
Help yourself to ketchup and mustard. Uh, I'd like one too. Hey, we didn't lie. The next person is me. That was probably things the way things the, the way things usually were at that shop. There still wasn't any schedule as to when we might get out of the moon. But in the meantime, we'd stop thinking about the difficult and negative things. Oh god. This feels like a Duncan Rampa episode, like just before a body is discovered. Oh god, please Tsugumi be okay, please. I'm not sure why, but you look like you're having fun. Who, me? You think so? Fun. I guess maybe. I wet the sweat caused by the heat of cooking from my face. Yeah, you look like you may even be trying to enjoy your life here. Mm -hmm. Huh. I wonder how that'd feel. I guess it'd be kind of fun owning a stand like this. Owning a stand. The kids stifled a laugh. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs! They're on the house! You don't think that maybe you could have sold hot dogs in a past life? Oh, shucks, dear customer! Y'all are just staying there! No, Coco. I don't think he was a hot dog man. I think he was. Sandwich man? A sandwich man? Ah, uh, come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we were just happy to be eating hot food. We could worry about the details after our stomachs were full. For the time, we were enjoying eating that simple meal. After spending some time laughing. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. The kid suddenly looked up at the ceiling. Uh, are uh, what's that? He blinked. His eyes were focused on the ceiling as if he had seen something. Hey, what's wrong? My curiosity peaked, I asked him. And following his gaze, I looked up at the ceiling. But I couldn't see anything out of the ordinary. What? I wonder. What? <laughs> yeah, he's probably being shown something special. I don't know what it was, but I swear I saw something. Saw something? Like what? Uh, well, I really didn't see it. Oh no. Oh god. I just have a bad feeling about the second floor somewhere. What the heck are you talking about? Oh god. Um, I think we should check that floor one more time. His eyes looked upward again, and he started mumbling incoherently. Concerned, I shook his shoulder. And then he snapped out of it. Don't worry about it. If something's up, Sora would warn us about it, right? Mm. Yeah, you're right, but still. Looks like I'm not the only one who's tired. Then Tsugumi appeared out of nowhere. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. What just happened? Huh, everyone was eating hot dogs. Hey, I've got one for you too. Tsugumi took it without saying anything.
I could hear the sound of her taking the hot dog out of its wrapper. And I watched her motions carefully. I swallowed, watching her. Sagumi placed the wrapper on the counter. Damn. He is just... He has fallen head over heels. Slowly, with the ketchup in her right hand and the mustard in her left, she squeezed the tubes. Their contents gushed out. Hey, Sugumi! Nani? What? The hot dog was entirely covered in red and yellow. You eat that much mustard and it'll kill you. So? Really? Sugumi bit into the hot dog. God, I love Sugumi. <laughs> hey, is it spicy? I bet it's spicy. So not Not really. Sugumi is right there with me. I love my hot dog covered in mustard. And I also love it with sour, sour mustard and sauerkraut all the way. On on my hot dogs. You're probably thinking to yourself, dang, I put way too much on, right? I don't really care. And after that, she continued eating in silence. But I thought I'd seen a glimmer. A eyes slightly starting to tear up. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, what's wrong? Oh God, what's wrong, baby girl? Hey, don't strain yourself. Oh my God, it's too spicy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm finished. Oh. I prefer Golden's mustard. I don't like the I don't like the like the the thin yellow like the pure yellow mustard. I, I don't like those. I like the Golden's mustard. I, I like that type of mustard. The extra spicy kind. Damn, this is a tough one. I despise pineapple pizza, so don't worry, Mr. Valde. I'm gonna see both choices here. By the way, where'd you go this morning? Why? What do you want to know that for? Well, when everyone went to bed, you were still with us, right? And when we got up, we couldn't find you, so... So what? It's none of your business. That's not true. I went to your breakfast, right? So I just wanted to know if you wanted some. I ate, okay? Okay, enough already. What? No, uh, I mean, yeah, but... It was on my mind, you know? I guess I was worried. Oh god, Takashi, you are such a sweetheart! Oh, Takashi! I wondered. What happened to you? Where'd you go? Why do you always dis- Where do you always disappear to? I guess I just wanted to know. Oh, Takashi! Oh god! Hey, I got it. I think this was definitely the right choice. You just had to find a place to go by yourself, right? As usual, those questions were getting me nowhere. Well, if you don't want to answer, don't worry about it. Uh-oh. Boom. Something a low metallic sound reverberated throughout the complex. This, yeah, with this answer, she knows that we care about her. It was a dull, muffled sound. What was that? This whole place just shook a little. Sugui's eyes darted around as, as if searching for something. Moments later, the kid and Coco, who'd both been resting in another room, appeared. Hey kid, what was that? Uh, I don't know.
Hey, this doesn't have anything to do with that bad feeling you had earlier, does it? The kid shook his head. I can't I don't know, maybe we should ask Sora. Did you call for me? From out of nowhere, Sora appeared in midair and floated down in front of us. Oh, hi, Sora Hey, Sora, where were you? Sora, that doesn't make any sense. I'm terribly sorry, I overslept. Sora looked embarrassed. Overslept, but you're... Oh, we'll save that for later. Hey, did something just happen? There was an awful noise just now. One of the shafts that supports this floor has started to warp. We didn't see any signs of it yesterday. Yes, well, it wasn't in my calculations, okay? It appears as if the ocean currents may have caused it. How dangerous are we talking here? Well, it should be within the margin of error, but no, wait a second. There was an anomaly in one of the pressure regulating pipes at Schweiterstock's warehouse. What are pressure regulating pipes? These pipelines are responsible for adjusting the pressure inside the multi layered bulkheads comprising Lemu. If any of them should rupture, for whatever reason, I am incapable of repairing them. Kid, kid knew about this. The anomaly is only slight, so you shouldn't have to hurry, but I think you should hurry. I think it's best if someone goes to check on it. Would you please go for me? Sure, leave it to me. I volunteered right away. Yay! Oh! Sigurd is going with us! Oh, yay! I'll go too. Unexpectedly, Sugumi also agreed to go. Sugumi? You sure? Shuri Surinara, Koguri got Sio Nantanai. Atasina, I wrote at Sky Katao Shitter. Sugumi, you're so badass. Well, if we're going to fix something, we'll need tools, right? I know my way around a workshop. Alright, let's go. Okay, you can come too, Coco. Hey, does anyone know where you went? Exactly, Mr. Valdek. <laughs> oh, you had that same reaction to her as well? Oh, yeah, well, I, don't, I just think she's really badass and cool. But also very cute. I looked around, but I didn't see you anywhere. She's totally worried about Takashi, but she would never admit it. Absolutely. <laughs> she went to the control room when things were shaking earlier. We must have just missed each other. I'll go and tell her that you're going up above. Alright, kid, I'll leave it to you. Keep an eye on things from the control room, will you? Just make sure we don't miss anything. If something comes up, use Lemmy to contact me. Me, me, me.
All right, see you later. Bounding across the water's surface, the kid shot down the corridor. We climbed the emergency stairs quickly. We were told that it wasn't urgent, but we still couldn't afford to be careless. Sagumi quietly shouldered the heavy toolbox, climbing higher and higher. Coco and Pipi followed right behind. By the way, Sora. I asked Sora, who was gliding alongside me. Something that hadn't been on my mind. Hi, Kuranari san. Yeah. Yes, Kuranari san. What is it? You mentioned you'd overslept earlier? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Oh, for Takashi. Oh, for Takashi. <laughs> you like this face? I saw many memes about it on the internet. Uh, yeah. Sora's face went to deep shade of red. Actually, there was some routine maintenance on one of the servers where my data is stored. It initiated automatically this morning. God, I hate it when that happens. It appears that it took some time for the return processing. I was a little too optimistic about the preliminary check. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, haven't we all been there? <laughs> so that's what it was. <laughs> I laughed for some reason. Uh, so no, I know. Nanika. Uh, uh, what? Did I say something amusing? Sora was confused. No, I just thought it was funny that even you could oversleep, Sora. Ah, that's funny. How should I put it? It's cute. Cute? Yeah. Sleeping in is cute. <laughs> Here's an old robot saying that does not compute. Sora's eyes went round. Maybe it was because that particular use of the word wasn't in her database. I've caused you all sorts of trouble. Yeah, it's, it's really moe, Sora. You know, the whole clumsiness thing, even though you're supposed to be like this perfect robot, like AI, like, you know, these, these little things that you do. You know, robot girls, they're a thing. You should look up what Moe... Actually, maybe you shouldn't. Indeed. As soon as we reconnect to the internet, I will give, give an exhaustive search of the term Moe. And Kawaii. Oh god, what have I done? Hey, nobody's angry. Don't let it bother you. Everyone knows you're working hard. Uh, hi. uh yes, thank you. Although Sora looked somewhat puzzled, her cheeks seemed to glow with joy. And for some reason I found that amusing too. So Really? Is it cute? I thought it was a charmingly innocent reaction. I suppose it's the kind of thing you'd call cute. We finally arrived at Schweiterstock. Learning, looking around the floor, everything seemed normal, but we could hear a hissing sound coming from somewhere. We walked towards the sound. Okay, you guys. I think here's a good place to uh, stop for the day. We've having, been having a lot of fun with this. I know, I'm having an absolute blast playing this game. Uh, let's do a proper save. Seriously, this game, I am having so much fun with it. And uh, we will continue it on uh, Thursday. On Tuesday, meanwhile, we'll be, some, we'll be starting a new series, Higginbana. Which is what Ryukushi07 uh, wrote between uh, Uminako and Rose Gun Days. 
<laughs> oh my god, I am so excited to get back to this. I love this game already. Seriously, I am having an absolute blast. Sure, away. So, until next time, I will say... So long, farewell, have we to say good night. You are all the sweetest of hearts. See ya. <laughs>